Never mind traditional ham or lamb, we're baking some delicious mini salmon quiches for Easter brunch. There are plenty of quick and easy Easter recipes. In the April issue of Canadian Living, and the magazine's food specialist Jennifer Bartoli joins us in the AM kitchen to share more. This looks really great, actually. It? We showed those little t um, muffin tarts. The, yeah, the little a quiches. Little earlier. So they're mini quiches. They're mini quiches, and what I love about those is that you just need a muffin tin to make them. So that's it's easy. super easy. So we've used homemade pastry, but you could do store bought. Okay. If that's what you'd want to do. And really, I mean, people think quiche is difficult, but it really isn't. It's really just like making scrambled eggs, except you're baking it. So this is just eggs in here, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of milk, and we've added some green onions as well, and some fresh herbs. And really all oh, I'm nice. going to do is just spoon that mixture in um, my shell here, and we've just pre-baked the shells. So, so really they're pre-baked, and what's in there already is the sam so we salmon. So some salmon and some cream cheese, but really you could use whatever you have on hand. If it's cooked veggies, you could use those. Any kind of cheese that you like, mozzarella would be delicious, cheddar yeah. would be delicious, um, and any kind of herbs that you like as well. So they're really versatile, which so is what I like. So the herbs you've got in there are dill, So I can we have see. some dill and some green onions, but you could really use whatever you'd like. And then all you have to do is bake these at 375 for yep. 20 minutes, and they look just like this. Perfect. So and 20 and minutes doesn't take long. No, ready and to go. I love them for brunch, and they're also great for an Easter lunch with a simple salad. They're can absolutely delicious. Can you fill them and have them ready to go? you know, to bake, or should um, you, once you fill them, you should bake them? No, you can actually keep them in the refrigerator for 24 hours, just take them out a few minutes before so they come back up to room temperature, and you can even put those in the freezer and just... Oh, that would um, be handy. Yeah, very handy. I and, like that uh, idea. And they look like that. So, but now I think we'll sh we should move on to dessert. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> that's really my favorite part of the meal. Me I don't too. know about you. Uh, so we're going to start with these little, uh, really cute little... The gorgeous nests. Animal nests. nests. Um, so I'll show you how we make the nests. So we actually use this pastry called katifi pastry. Have that's pastry? It's it's pastry, so it's actually found in the frozen section of your grocery store, next to the puff pastry. Um, Look at and it, this. It, wow. looks, it looks like noodles, but it's actually just shredded pastry dough. Um, and so what we've done is just add a little bit of cocoa powder, okay. some icing sugar to sweeten it, and then we've put a little bit of melted butter as well, and we've just put them in these muffin tins um, and baked it. And they look like little nests when they come out; they're crispy. How and, do you get it so fine? Like, um, well, you buy it that way. You just, you just yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, I love that's that it. idea. Um, and then what we'll do is, if you want to help me as well, we'll just fill these with chocolate mousse. So this is our three-ingredient chocolate mousse. Couldn't be easier. You can make this ahead of time and then just spoon it right at the okay. last second when your guests come. So what are the three ingredients? Uh, so it's some whipped cream that we've just um, yep. heated up and put over some uh, chopped chocolate. And then we've put a little bit of vanilla for flavor. And then all we do is top these with, with a little... With little chocolate eggs here. That's so great. Yeah, and they look like this. Oh, how much fun. Aren't they pretty? I um, love that. And then I'll, I'll, like that. I'll move on to what okay. I think is the star of the show. Okay. So I love carrot cake. Yes. But what I love even more is carrot cake trifle. Oh, my um, gosh. So really all we've done here, so we've made this cake, carrot cake, um, it's homemade. Okay. But obviously you could get store-bought if that's what you, if you don't have time to make homemade, that's perfectly fine. So we've just cubed it. And what we've done is we're layering it basically with what you would usually find on a carrot cake. So we are laying it, we're layering it with some pineapple. Oh, I like So it's that. just canned yeah. pineapple with a little bit of the juice, um, some walnuts, and then we've made a cream cheese custard. Oh, okay. As well, which is absolutely delicious. So if you want to help me um, build them, yeah. we've done a first Lay layer here. Okay. I'm going to finish it off with the custard So here. after that, I would put some more... Um, I don't get a little bit more cake. Okay. And then some walnuts. You could use pecans as well. And then some pineapple and a bit more custard. So we've just layered these. Uh, these are just Ikea glasses. I think this is so good. Oh, yeah. And right. actually, when you when you divide it up like this and get the things ready, you could do it with kids. Uh, definitely. And it's really Lots fun. Of fun. But um, actually, another really beautiful way to present these is if you have little teacups at home or little oh, yeah. ramekins or mason jars. You don't have to use glasses. That's what we've used. But there's a lot of different options that would be really nice as well. So I'll just continue layering this here. This is great. There we go. And then just a very quick peek before we leave the segment of these gorgeous cookies. Uh, so these are our, our Easter cookies. So actually we've just iced these like you would a regular sugar yeah. cookie, but what we've done is used our piping bag and just piped little polka dots on top here. Oh, it's and so the great much part about fun. this is that they don't need to look perfect. You can have dots of different sizes. If you happen to do a little blemish and you don't like it so much, just pipe a little dot on there again oh, and they look absolutely gorgeous. Great ideas. Thank you very much for coming in. You're Happy so Easter. Welcome. Thank you. You'll find all all of Jennifer's Easter brunch recipes on our website.
CanadaAM.CTVNews.ca.